What up, y'all? Welcome to Pop.com. It's Jojo coming at you from the Woman Cave in Vegas. Alright, guys, I have here the Alien Covenant box, and we're about to crack into this. I've had this for months, like months and months, and I'm sad that I just don't know what's in here because it's been literally calling my name. So this box is brought to us by the A-Box Company. They are fairly new subscription service and I think they have a separate line called the A-Box and that comes to you monthly. This here though is just a one-shot box and it's supposed to be full of Alien Covenant collectibles. So I'm very happy and stoked to see what's in here. I have no idea. And But look at the box art though. How cool. Very sleek. Has this like matte finish. Very high quality. This box was a little bit pricier. Um, this one I think was about 65 bucks. Somewhere around that vicinity. I'll leave the exact details down below the details because I don't really remember off the top of my head right now. But anyway, I'm a huge fan of the Alien franchise. I have loved Alien and Aliens. Uh, even the third one I really enjoyed. Uh, not as much as the others, but yeah, Resurrection was kind of a weird one, but hey, I'll still watch that any day of the week as well. I like bad movies, what can I say? And Alien Covenant I thought was alright. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the ending, but I thought it had some of the best kills in the whole franchise, so yeah. Um, also I think that they retconned um, number 3 and 4, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe just 4. So Alien Covenant is technically a prequel to Alien. So. Yeah, let's go ahead and see what's inside because uh, this thing, I'm telling you, it's been calling my name. So, oh man, this thing, wow. Everything's covered, so I'm gonna look. Yeah, wow, look at the packaging. That is sweet. That's a beautiful packaging right here. Wow. I'm impressed. That is nice. Looks like when you buy an iPod or something. You can tell I'm with the times. Do they even sell iPods anymore? Alright. So I just took this medium sized box here. This was a smaller one. Alright, let's see what it is. Alright. Oh, uh, oh, snap! It's a hat. And you guys know I've been wearing my hats a lot lately. Um, I'm just feeling the hats. Feeling the snapbacks. Uh, this is really nice. Um, I think the little patch here could be a little better quality. It's kind of, it feels like a sticker almost. So yeah, it would be nice if it was an actual patch. Um, but yeah, I mean the actual hat itself though, that's, it's really nice and soft. So yeah, very cool. And it has the alien, so everything here is licensed. Sweet. And it the, says the Covenant Wayland Yutani on there. I dig it. What else do we have? Okay, we got our shirt. Okay. I usually open shirts first, but I didn't know uh, if there was going to be a shirt. So, oh, baby. This is awesome. Oh, look at this face hugger shirt. What? Ooh. I like that. Oh, man. Now that is a shirt, guys. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I love this shirt. It's a little bit big because I had a, I mean, I ordered a small, but I think the size is unisex. So, but still, I mean, it's probably going to shrink, so I don't hate it. Okay. Alright, what else do we have in here? This is exciting. Okay, ooh. Wow, look at this. I, I'm still so blown away by this packaging. It's so legit. And nice. Like, So let's open the pin badges first. It says right here, pin badges. Ooh, okay, nice. Here are the pins. Really nice. Well done. Wow, that's a set of six pins. They're 
I mean, they're not huge pins, but it's still kind of impressive. This is Weyland Yutani. So they're like company logos. I like it. All right, and so the other box said a uh, bottle opener. So no surprise. Ooh, what? Oh wow, that is awesome. I could always use a bottle opener. I have like three right now and I love all of them. That is so cool. Beautiful. That's all for the smaller box. Now there's a bigger box in here. Oh man. Oh god. So it says face hugger right off the bat on this. Right there. It came a little damaged so I hope it's, it's okay and it's not... Whoa. All right. So let's open this. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. Oh my god, this is creepy as F. Oh my god, it looks like a huge spider in there. Ew, oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna take it out. Oh my god. Uh, that is amazing. So it came with a certificate of authenticity right here. Oh my gosh, okay. So it's basically a giant, like, bendable figure. What? Oh my gosh. Ew, and it has, like, nails on it. Like, it looks like a giant, like, witch hand or something. Ugh. Oh my god, guys, look at that. Ugh, look the way it's painted. Ugh, it looks all grimy and gross. And if you look closely, like each tentacle thing or whatever, like finger, has a nail on it. That's gross. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, here's a long tail, also bendable. Oh my gosh, like this could fit around me. Oh my god. I'm gonna have so much fun with this thing. It is amazing and it's ginormous. This is like one to one scale, I think. Because look, this fits right in. Oh my god, that is creepy. Oh, oh my gosh, guys. This alone is probably worth the box. Like, I'm sure this is going for big money on eBay. I just have a feeling. I don't, I don't know, I haven't looked it up, but woo, this is freaking awesome. Oh man, you can't find this stuff just anywhere. This is, oh, beautiful. Ew, and you can see like the veins and stuff too. Here are the veins. Ugh, disgusting. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm totally gonna hang this off the like the stair uh, handrail gonna look awesome just like hanging right there oh my god I'll have to take a picture for you guys when I do that oh, I'll post it on Instagram or something but yeah oh I'm in love with this this just made my entire week slash month <laughs> just very cool very very cool well done a box I think that's it yeah that is it for the box so a little recap here we have um, our hat, which hats, I got this Star Wars hat for about 10 bucks, so let's just say $10. Um, we got the face hugger uh, shirt, which was amazing. Love that. So let's, let's do 10 bucks for that too, so that's 20. Then we have our really high quality, very nice and like has a shiny finish um, bottle bottle opener so really nice um, uh, these range these I've seen for about 8 to 15 um, for this type of quality so yeah plus it's licensed so I'm gonna give it 8 so we got um, 
one of these books right now. All right, next we have our pin badge set, and that came with six. This was really cool, and uh, it's really hard to gauge pin value because uh, I feel like they range so much depending on you know what sites you go to or like where you get them. Like if you go to Disneyland, they're like oh, 15 bucks or so. Um, but these look to be a little bit smaller and I've seen better quality pins to be honest. These are a little bit thin but they're still they still look good and they're still nice. Like I'm not bashing on the quality. It's still good quality but I'm just saying I've seen better and the better ones usually tend to be around like you know 8 to 8 to 12 but um I think some like this I would say you could get for like five a piece. So yeah, um, 30 bucks right there. So right there we have 60 bucks of value already and that's not including this guy. Oh my goodness. I am in love with this face hugger. It's amazing. I'm so happy I got this box now. Oh, just so worth it. Um, I don't know how much this thing goes for, I have no idea, but my guess it's, is that it'll go for at least, at the very least, $30. $30, and that's probably a steal for something like this. Um, and it's licensed, it's, it's good quality, it's a little bit like rubbery, but that's because I think it has to be because it's bendable. So. Yeah, I it's painted really nicely too. Like it looks very realistic and like flushy. Ugh, disgusting. But yeah, very awesome. I just can't. Oh, so happy right now, guys. I'm like geeking out. Uh, yeah, so thirty dollars. So that brings you to like ninety bucks of value for this box, and I definitely didn't pay ninety for it. So I gotta double check how much I did pay. I, I'm guessing it was like somewhere between 65 and 70 is my guess but yeah like I said I'll leave the details below and a link to uh, the a box site so you can check it out yourself um, yeah like I said definitely worth it in my opinion but that's about it guys if you like this video give me a like or subscribe or both I don't hate it and you can catch me on Twitter and on Instagram at pop.comics and I guess I'll catch you over there later